Alright, welcome everyone. Today I'll be talking about how I will be implementing the weapon assets that I have created for everyone to use to add into their own generations and to allow you guys to emphasize what you want in specific generations. So today I'll be showing how to apply pistols as an example. So right now I'm using one of my own custom models that I've created, Diamond Core version 2. And I have written a short phase right here like a girl holding a pistol, a short prompt with some negatives. The same usual, uh, same sampling methods using the basic width and height and without using any high risk. So without any high risk I have generated these images right here right these images so just by the generation itself is it looks okay the anatomy of the the this girl the hands are look okay but then most of the time the gun itself is always sort of broken or just appear not gun like so a lot of those stable diffusion models or most of them if the data set does not emphasize on how gun looks like, most of the time it's just gonna appear weird. So a lot of the solutions to fix this is to apply LoRa's or texture inversions that are trained specifically on pistols or any specific weapons. And that will kind of help, but not a perfect fix. So for example, if you, if I chosen this pose, right, this pose, the specific pose that I've chosen that I like, and the gun, uh, the hand positions are nice, but then just the gun is having an issue. Using the assets I've given to you guys, right? You can uh, take this image and then apply it to a one of the extensions that I I really like. It's called Def Library. You can find the find this in the GitHub. So in, in the Def Library, you can add the any guns you like into this selected section. And apply here or you can just find the folder and just put it in here one of the shapes so in the data sets uh, in the sets I have uh, three different versions I have def def maps I have HED and canny uh, right now I'll just use def as an example so if you select this and add you have a gun right here for you to use but the the resolution is really high so most of the time you just need to make it smaller by pressing control and then you shrink it down you're able to retain the same shape of the gun you can just shrink it down and then just adjust the size any way you want or you can press shift to change a bit of its angle and dimensions if you press shift and just right click you can change it or you can just use this to flip it around to, 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 to not only to make it smaller but you can just flip it around to the other side if your hand requires you to do that and the same thing goes upside down right and this is just make it bigger and smaller and if you don't want it you can just remove select it but I must say uh, if you if uh, if the generation example requires more than just one death maps like for example, you want not only the shape of it, you want the inner detail of it. Then uh, you might this 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 extension will not really help that much for the accuracy of it because no matter how how you you shape this, it's really hard to get a exact match. It's always going to be a bit of a offsets. You know, there's always a bit of a not 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 gonna be as accurate as you want it. So, um, to to solve this issue, you can use uh software like GIMP, Photo P, or Photoshop, right? Just import multiple of these and then select them all and then just do them all at once, and and then just export them one by one. And remember, the dimension of this needs to be exactly the same as the generation you have right here. 
So for example, if I have width and height is 512 and 768, then the depth library's dimension must be the same. So uh, this also applies to any other software like Photoshop and stuff. Because if the position is wrong, and then you apply it to the image, it's just going to place wrong in, in, in the wrong position, and it's just going to mess up the whole thing. Right, so if, if it's like you want to apply multiple different control nets, then I'll highly suggest you use a software and just apply them all at once. It'll be more accurate. But in this case, I'll just use this and I'll save the PNG. And then the next process, we'll add this into image to image. Right, so you're going to put it to image, into image to image and then as a in painting state. And then you will add that image into control net and because this is already depth map processed so you no longer need a preprocessor you can just use, straight use the model to save more time because if you use a image and then you choose one of these it's just gonna double the time that required to process this whole thing and then apply it into your image alright so with this at the right position you want you just press the depth map and at default the starting control step will be zero, but then to add this specific gun into your image, you want to allow the stable diffusion to just generate something. This origin or generate original stuff in the beginning, so you give a bit of a some space to generate stuff. Then you can apply. Then, then this, uh, then the starting control step will kick in. So you're giving it like 0 0.08 steps to allow stable division to create what it needs, and then afterwards it will start using what you're putting in in control net as uh, as the first priority, right? All the way to the end control step, all the way to the end. So I usually apply it around 0 0.05 to 1.12 uh, because if you go too far then what stable diffusion have already done is already so much that not so it has re also, it's already done so much that no matter how much you change in the back is, is or, or change in the way it's not going to change much it's just going to look weird so it's, it's all all it's matter is about the front start so uh, i usually put around 0 0.7 0 0.07 and then I choose balance. You can use control net. You can experiment with experiment with this. It doesn't really matter. And I just choose crop and resize. And then the same setting. And then at the denoise strength, I will suggest to use above zero point seven. Anything below it, it will retain so much of this original stuff. The new generations most likely will not be able to cover up which is already been generated so I'll suggest give a 0 0.8 so there's more more freedom for stability diffusion to generate what you want in the control net and then at this time you just enlarge the painting part and just in paint out the part you want to add the gun and after you're done you can just uh, batch count you can just put four different variations since it's already 512 and 768, the generation should be very quickly and have no issue at all. So you can just generate and just quickly generate what you want. And then after this, if you find any generation you think is perfect, you can again put into extras to enlarge it and then put back into in painting and just and add the detail you want. So as you can see right now, The generations, the gun has accurately replaced with the pistol that I have added. So as you can see, the old stuff that we used to see, like all this weird looking thing, are getting more accurate of a gun. Even though this hands have been messed up, you can fix it in end painting later. Right? The gun, the gun shape is at least showing up more accurately. You can again try more, more times, or you can just lower this a bit more. Like zero point zero four. So this kick in even faster. 
uh, put out put the support to 0 0.5 you know to cover up the stuff that you don't want as well so when it's when it's denoising and and generating a new one it will just replace anything you have in there as you can see it is generating something that resembles the pistol so sometimes if this if this is not good enough then you you probably will need to add a different more different passes into here to emphasize what you exactly want like the inner detail of the gun right and then also remember to choose the whole image so when it's in painting it will also count in what is around it with it because if you choose just only masked most likely it will just ignore whatever is around and it just gen generate a completely different thing in the middle it will just look completely different from what you have in the in in the background and it's just gonna look wrong so i'll highly suggest use the whole picture so when you're generating i will suggest not to turn it too high so if you look at it You can see just like the entire thing. This one is not that bad, but then this is the whole hand is gone. You can see this is like the whole thing is doesn't look right. It looks something else. It looks broken compared to what we have in in the uh, in the previous generations. So I'll always suggest use the whole picture. So if you if you're gonna turn up to really high, I'll suggest you just you know just just start with really low first to at least to get whatever you need in place like for example if you have let's just do it again you can replace what you want and then we'll click generate right we will we'll generate and because the gun is always at the right position you can come you can if you if any generation you like you can put this back into in painting and do it again and refine the results so for example this one is not that bad i like this one better so for example i like this one i can put this back into in painting and then redo the whole process again and just generate again okay you can just keep redoing and redoing and refine and more refined until the result is exactly what I want then I can start high resing it and make it better and if your computer is, is like good enough you can try doing like the, uh, 1024 and 1536 which is double of the resolution that I have right now you can try that as well Right. You can also try to like mess with mess around with the control weight, see if this actually helps. You know, emphasizing the death maps in your generations, or even just literally just use control that is more important. So, for example, like oh, this one is not that bad. So yeah, basically this is it. You can just continue to keep generating images that you you can just add whatever you have in here. Like for example, you have a pose that you like, but then the gun just looks wrong. Right? The gun looks wrong. Just, then you can replace it. So compared to this one to what we have now, this looks much more like a pistol than, than what we had before. I will also, uh, if the hand keeps looking wrong, uh, I will try to create a hand assets set as soon as I can. Depends on if I how much free time I have in after I, after I have, after my work. And after after if this is like what you want, you can again send this to extra. So you have this in extra, and they just put this into two, resize to two, and then I always like to use this one. And you can high res it, and then you just generate. 
and then you will have a image all right that is high res and then you'll send this to inpaint all right so this will be at this setting so right now you will no longer use this because the dimension of this is 512 and 762 768 and you do not want that to affect your image so i will always put the setting around around this and then now you can use only mask and you need to put the setting down because right now we're just refining the details to make it look better so i always always put this denoise strength below four right below five actually below five because anything beyond five is going to change the original structure but i always keep it around 0 0.37 and after you keep this 0 0.37 you can just do this crop out the head and then you just in paint generate and then you just get a refinement a refined result of this look at this looks amazing look at that right now you have a perfect image of the head right of the head looks really good like for example you like this one even though that looks pretty similar compared to what we have already in the, uh, before this one looks much better we will send it back and this need to change it again because my computer cannot handle this high resolution so I set it around 768 you can set it any number you want depends on your computer power depends how many of you how much VRAM you have you know and then for example uh, you can just change any setting you want and I would suggest not to cover too much with this painting because anything beyond what you have set is most, of, most, of, uh, most likely just not gonna work when it's like denoising it so for example you want to change a bit more on the guns detail you can turn it up a bit like 0 0.45 you know and then you just generate and then see how much it fixes the guns detail like oh my god look at the hands oh no oh this one's much better like for example oh this one looks better then you can send it back to end painting again and then we change this like this part and then change it again like this is just one way that's to 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 correct the issues that you can counter well, after the guns is fixed most likely you want to add fix the hand Also, when you're doing this in painting, you can also add lauras that are specifically trained for weapons. Like if you add like lauras that are specifically trained for weapons, it will also assist you really well on generating better looking guns. Like right now, I'm not using any lauras to assist me. So based on this data training I had for my own custom model, this is pretty much as far as the gun will look. You know, this is pretty much what it's gonna look like, unless I start adding more different, uh, different like, different maps like Canny and HE HED, but right now I don't have it right now. I didn't set it up, so right now this is like death map alone. You just this is pretty much what it's gonna be looking like. So this is pretty much it. Hope you enjoy. I will try to create the hand assets as soon as I can. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Just add, write, it down, write it down in the comment section, and I'll try to answer you guys as soon as I can. Oh yeah, guys. Uh, also, I forgot to mention that the 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 image set that I have provided all have transparent background, right? But then, uh, do not use those transparent background right from the get go into Control Net. For some reason, transparent background for Canny, HED, and uh, Death Maps all all have issues. All have issues. It's always gonna get like sort of a glitchy background behind your 
captured uh, um, any guns or anything that's like death map anything that's transparent background it's gonna get like glitchy and then it's just not gonna be usable because the background is just so messy so before you use it you need to uh, put it uh, in front of an image or have a background like a black background to help uh, stable division to understand that you want only the pistol and not the background maybe the transparent background is having issues with it but like open pose was fine you know putting transparent background it doesn't really affect at all even if you add a black even if you add a black background it doesn't really improve the result but then for for death map canny and HED you cannot use the do not use the transparent background from my set because it's just not gonna work really well it will still work but then just the background does look very messy and then just the results not gonna be really good and I highly suggest that add a background behind it and all the image are like uh, 100 and uh, 1080 by 1080 is kind of quite a high quality one so you can try to like put like you know try to like shrink it down into the correct size that you want so I will always highly suggest that you create use a po use, use open pose pose something and then you can add the gun at the correct position and you can use it right there right on the get go or add a certain hand that you want and you can just keep generating and then until you get a proper result that you want do not use then just do not use it do not use it just like with the transparent background you need something behind it all right that's it